So the new website's up and running. We're here in Cape Town and filming for the next couple of months. We're going to be releasing some videos on a regular basis to keep you updated. Just travelling around Cape Town, going to different spots, doing different things. Go up to the cable park, go wakeboarding, whatever comes up really. Maybe do a trip up the coast and just showing the lifestyle, the spots, what we get up to. So tune in and check it out. It'll be so epic! So today we're heading up to the lake from Cape Town or from my house. It's basically like one hour north in through the valleys, the wine lands, and basically you just pop out in a flat area and inside there there's a big dam. Once you arrive it's all fenced off, you can't get in, but if you know the right people you can get the keys and just drive down to the dam side and just down on the water there. So 2009 wasn't my year. Already at the beginning of that year, my heart wasn't in it. I gave it my all, I went for it. For sure it didn't turn out results-wise, but to be honest, it's stepped forward for me. Let this competition scene settle down a bit, so I know mainly what I have to do to win events. I think it's definitely taken a big split at the minute and two different styles evolving. So I think for this year coming, I'm just gonna do my own thing, ride how I wanna ride, show the world through videos and promotion like that. I'll come back and compete when I've got my motivation back and I'm ready to kick some ass. Crime, 100% murder at all times. Every line I spit, dog, is all mine. Out of the South Bay, greatest of all time. Used to be one of the greatest of unsigned, but I'm trying to reach the top, so yo, it takes time. I make rhymes that break spines. Most cats, they waste time and try to take mine. Every time I bump my guns, it's like busting guns. Niggas are stuck and stunned. One word, you're done. It's murder, son. I put in work, put your trash niggas in the dirt for what it's worth. I'm in this rap shit for better or worse. You better call a hearse, cause I kill him with a verse. You heard of this? Murderous type killer. Spike nigga to catch you. Yeah, after Mimic this, we started planning another trip from the loose. Ruben came out to Cape Town. He was like still hobbling around, couldn't ride, so he decided to get his operation. He's been hitting the gym for a bit, pretty strong on the one leg, up and down stairs, taking a few face plants here and there. It's, uh, it's quite funny to give him some harsh deals now and again, like having to walk over all messed up terrain with his crutches, start stumbling sometimes. But uh, he's making a full recovery soon and uh, he'll be back on it and we'll be riding together, it'll be sweet. In the flat water, you know, starting to try some other things with a lot more grabs. I think the most latest thing I've really enjoyed doing is like back mode but with a sort of nuke or seatbelt grab. So you sort of come around like back roll to toe side, grab the nose and then you just do like a 180 and flip back and down into it and keep the kite super low, do all of your body movement. I think it looks pretty cool, it's something different, you don't quite see it and slightly different rotation to how you would do it normally but you know all these little things are making the sport look good. The hardest thing about that is just getting the grab and holding it there for a bit and then as you're getting pulled and pulled you're sort of going to get usually trip an edge which is like the normal mistake when you're learning most. So you definitely got to get your rotation right, keep the bar in and, and pass the bar and just manage to, to wham yourself around that extra 180. If you don't do that you're going to crash every time. But that's the thing about it, it's difficult so but it's a good challenge, I like it. From we kick ass and get pains. A lot of cats they claim to be insane. Step into my crew, you'll feel pain or get slain. But you wanna come.